What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is The Auditorium. If you're new, I react to video game music as a musician myself from games I've never played or heard about. This is Guilty Gear Strive. The first Guilty Gear I've ever heard in my life was Strive and it was on this channel. This is The Roar of the Spark, requested by Dakota over on Patreon. Well, you know, it's been a while since I've done Guilty Gear, even though I just did one a couple days ago, but uh, we're back. And this was actually a really popular request early on, so I'm excited. It's got a nice little five minute length, so I'm ready to hopefully have my face shredded off. But we'll see. I have yet to run into a bad Guilty Gear song yet. It's a good sign. The Roar of the Spark. I'm just gonna let it play. I like how sometimes there's just vocals and sometimes there isn't. And it's still brutal. His English is so... It's like funny, but it's not. It just sounds cool. That it. The thunder burns my eyes. What a strange descent. Sound becomes hot again. Never ending wise. Forgot I so want epic. More. Is this Arcadia? I really like his vocals. I don't care how many words down the game. You're in the pale fire. I'm guessing he's bilingual. Harmonist. Guitar solo. I'm honestly just so impressed by the craftsmanship of it.
It has like every metal ingredient <laughs> together. <laughs> I really just want to say that I'm very grateful for Daisuke and just having metal in video games is kind of kind of rare. And when I say metal in video games, I mean like non-licensed music. I mean like original tracks. That's kind of rare. And you know, he's he's let, he's making it happen. Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, whatever else he's part of but he's kind of holding it down for the community. <laughs> I feel like it's people like him who bring this music to the masses. I'm actually curious, if you played this game, did this game get you into metal? Because I feel like I feel like everyone can enjoy this. If you don't like metal and then you listen to this, you're like, oh wow, I've been missing out. And if you do like metal and then you play this game, you're like, oh hell yeah, you know, this is, a tree on both ends. And as far as I know, the entire Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue soundtracks are just strictly metal. I don't think they even diverge from that. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I've only heard nothing but metal. So it's like, it's definitely like a part of the identity. So, you know, speaking of which, it's just, it's, I'm just going to talk about the genre really, because that's really important here. It has everything. I want to, I'm actually very curious who his influences were growing up because you kind of hear it all here. You know, I hear like Anthrax, I hear like Sabaton, I hear Halloween, I hear Testament, I hear Insert, you know, whatever. You hear it all. I hear the power chords, the dual harmonizing leads, the harmonizing vocals, the guttural stuff, the singing the double bass drums, the guitar solos, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a big bonanza of metal. So I'm actually very curious who his influences are. And you know what's so funny? It's like, well, it's not even funny, but just like the quality of this music is so insane. It sounds like an album. And I've heard the running joke that when you buy Guilty Gear, you're buying, or no, when you buy the album, <laughs> of Guilty Gear, you get a bonus game that comes with it. <laughs> I've heard that for Doom and I've heard that for Guilty Gear, and it's it's true. If I put this on and just slapped it onto a radio station or some random Spotify playlist, would you have any idea that it came from a video game? No, probably not. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just it just sounds amazing. And you can tell, like, this is what this person loves to do. And by the way, he happens to make video games as well. This guy is living his best life. I'm sure whenever you see him in person, he's just all smiles and just radiating because it seems like the whole aura of Guilty Gear is just passion and, well, I guess just radiation because, damn. I would just like to point out also that I find it interesting that some songs are instrumental and some have vocals in them. Um, at first, I used to think his vocals were kind of like cheesy and I don't mean in a... In a condescending way but it's, it sounds kind of like almost joking like almost like parody of metal but uh I, i'm i'm taking a guess that that's just because it's not his native language so but it, in a way it adds like character to the whole vocal style like i can tell it's him it sounds like him and it's just that cheesy enough where it's like dope <laughs> you know like saying like the name of the song or what i can't explain it besides that it just sounds kind of like a trope but he owns the all the tropes if that makes any sense last thing i'll say is i'm just i'm very happy for the guilty gear community because 
they have an amazing game with amazing visuals and an incredible soundtrack with someone who really cares behind the wheel. I think that's really, really cool. And something that's just, I don't know, I can't think of any, at the top of my head, I can't think of another developer that has that much, you know, drive going towards it. This is a really cool series. And even if you don't play these kind of games, you should at least watch them to see their beauty because it's pretty mesmerizing stuff, man. It's pretty mesmerizing stuff. It looks like a anime come to life and the music just makes it that much better. <sighs> it inspires me to play guitar, you know? I, I play guitar, I've been playing for 18 something years. And then you hear stuff like this and I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to just grab one off the wall and just shred for a little bit because why not, you know? Or it might even influence people to pick up instruments. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> God, see what I'm saying? Like it just has that power. Anyways, The Roar of the Spark. Cool name. Again, sounds cheesy, but in a cool way. <laughs> From Guilty Gear Strive, which I believe is still the latest um, entry in the series. So please correct me if I'm wrong on that. Anywho, thank you for that. Dakota, if you want to request something to me as well, you can do so on Patreon or PayPal as well. Either are cool, but they're not necessary. They guarantee that I will check out your song though. If you do not want to wait in the gigantic waiting list, there is the Platinum tier on Patreon, which is running out of space. I think I only have one or two more spots open. That expedites your request to the top and skips the line, basically. A big shout out to Justin, Orange, Rogue Monk, Vincent, Jester, Kevin, Thomas, Moon Knight, and your average metalhead for being supporters of that. Thanks to everyone here that you see, and thanks to Dakota for the request. Thanks to the Guilty Gear community. Thanks to the people that don't play Guilty Gear and still watch these. I appreciate you and thank you for sharing this to me. So my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. Rock on people. Peace.